right, you guys. So, I'm going to just go from head to toe. Basically, matter of fact, I'm just give you like my routine, what I do whenever I get in the shower. When I get in the shower, if I wash my hair, I always wash my hair first. Now, I'm a cheat, bitch. I'm cheap. So, this came from Dollar Tree. Got these for a dollar, okay? And to be honest, um, I can't even front. Like, even though they're cheap, um, they do really, really good for my hair. Now, it just really depends on what kind of VO5 that you get. Because I've been using VO5 for years. But, um, say if you get, like, I think that the best VO5 to get is, um, the ones that are in the white bottles. You can't see the shampoo color or nothing like that. If you get that, it'd probably be your best bet because their conditioner is, like, really, really thick and creamy and it does really good for your hair. Now, that's what I do. I always, um, wash my hair, condition my hair. Um, after that, I would take my handy dandy rag. Now, let me tell you something. I don't lose. I don't. I don't lose. I don't use loofahs. Let me tell you why. Because I feel like it won't get me good, especially not down there. Y'all can keep the loofahs, okay? I got my ride. Um. Um. Okay. So yeah, I use a rag. This is a really good rag. Um. They sell these at Walmart in like a pack of like 10 or 12 for only $5. And they're really good rags and they're good and firm. Like they're not too firm, but they're firm enough. Get my rag. I will suds it up with my soap. Y'all, I use dial soap. Y'all can't see. I use dial soap. It works really good for me. I use the um, spring water dial soap. Um, works really good for me. I love it, y'all. Like, it be having me feeling so squeaky and clean. Um, my hygiene routine is really, like, simple. I don't, unless, like, I'm trying to be extravagant, I will go and buy some body wash that smells good or something. But I'm very simple with my hygiene routine because it don't take a lot to get me clean. Like, I know how to clean myself. Um, get my dial soap. Suds it up with the water and soap. Really, really good. I get it, like, really, really, really soapy. And I go up under my arms. And um, I like wash my arms like really, really good. Wash real good on one side. Then I flip the rag around with the rest of the soap. Wash real good. The reason why I do that is because I want to make sure that I'm getting all of the the uh, caked up deodorant from, you know, the day before or whatever. Um, that's the best way to do that because a lot of people have musty arms. And that could be a reason why because you have leftover deodorant up under your armpits okay after that i start washing my whole body from head to toe from head to toe start from my breast to my torso area my arms my neck my legs my toes <laughs> my toes um and once I'm done with that, then I'll get down to the middle. Y'all know what the middle is. I wash that first. Um, I just get really good in there. You never want to go inside your hole, uh, your vagina hole, with the soap and the water. It's okay to wash like the labia and the clit, the clit and the sides. Y'all know what I mean. The lips of it. It's okay to wash that. Don't go inside the hole because that will have you burning. And y'all do not want that. That's like the worst. Um, and um, if you don't feel offended about this video, this is just really trying to educate people who don't know exactly how to wash themselves. And it's okay because when I was younger, like when I was like 14 or so, my mom wasn't around. So I never knew how to do things for myself. I had to learn on my own. So I'm educating people who don't know. Um... So yeah, just get your cooch real good. Scrump, scrump, scrump. Best way to do it. Now, some of y'all might say this is nasty. But to know that you're not stinking for yourself. So you know that you're not stinking. Take the rag. Wash. 
and I know I'm not the only person who does this, wash, smell the rag. Okay? But you shouldn't be like raw smelling or stinking or nothing like that because, I mean, if you wash every day, you shouldn't be stinking. And I will also recommend take a shower um, night and day. If you, It's the best way to do it because taking a shower night and day, so after that, you would get the butt. Y'all know how to wash the butt. Wash the butt good. Um, I would say you can go in the hole, your butt hole, if that's, you know, if you want to clean in there. Uh, I don't I don't believe it will burn um, at all because your vagina is a sensitive, your vagina hole is a sensitive spot. Very sensitive. It's like an open wound, but it's not an open wound. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, the butthole, I think that's good to go in, clean, and all that. Um, <clears throat> now, if you feel like you're not getting your inside clean really, really good, you can also, you can also, bitch, you can also douche, uh, or dish, or have you say it. Um, normally, people would only do it, like, after their menstrual cycle, but, um, however you want to do that um so I also y'all I done sat up here I showed y'all all my stuff so when I get out the shower I'm the type of person where I don't know why but I cannot use Colgate like any type of thick toothpaste I cannot use I cannot use Colgate I cannot use anything but this and it's AIM toothpaste it's only a dollar at dollar store dollar tree wherever you get it more than likely it's only a dollar um or 90 cents or 80 cents or whatever I cannot use nothing but that because I hate like a thick taste in toothpaste and I feel like I'm not getting my teeth clean good I don't know why but yeah um before I actually do brush my teeth though I use at least one of these Hey. Um, I always floss before I start brushing. I'll start brushing once I'm done brushing. Make sure that you get your tongue up because that's where all the funk is coming from, is your tongue. Now, I personally, I get back in there and wear tonsils and stuff like that. But you want to make sure you get your tongue because that's all the funk right there. Now, if you have like a rotten tooth or something, might have to get it pulled out. That might be the reason why your breath might be smelling a little bit. Or, there's something called tonsil stones. Um, those happen whenever a, a food or something gets stuck in your tonsils back there. And it sits there and it accumulates lots of saliva and it stays in there. And it'll be in there and it'll be stinking. Any one lot to you. But, easy way to fix it. You can just pop it out. Um, or look up how to, you know, do it. Um, once I'm done brushing... I will mouthwash. This is a cheap little mouthwash, Dollar General. Um, I always use mouth or once I'm done brushing my teeth, I'll go ahead and start putting on my clothes. I draw off like really, really good. Now that can also play a part in why you may smell. Um, because if you don't draw off good, like dry your body off good, then it can result in you smelling. Um, I don't know why, I don't know how, but it can. Um, I draw off really good, and then I put my clothes on. Ooh, excuse me. And I will apply either lotion. This is from the Dollar Tree. Now, I have to use that because I'm out of lotion. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and then once I'm done with that, I'll apply my perfumes. Now, I use all of all of these. Um, here's one. It's not doing pretty good. Hang on. By Ariana Grande. Then I use another one from Victoria's Secret. It's a uh, Pure Seduction. And then I use um, this body oil. This body oil from um, I don't know where it's from, but I guess like local local like um, stores and stuff have them. It, and I think they usually have them everywhere. Just all depends. And then 
I use this one a lot. It's Juicy Couture. Um, I'm running out on it though. But that's, I usually use like my Juicy Couture whenever it's kind of like, I'll spray like one spray on when like I'm going out to work or something. But if it's like a special event, that's mainly when I use my Juicy Couture because y'all know it's expensive and it's a good little brand. So, um, and it smells really, really good, y'all. Y'all should try it. But, um, yep, after that, I'll do my hair. If y'all want a hair routine, let me know. Comment down below. Um, also, if y'all want a shaving routine, or not a shaving routine, but if y'all want a um, shaving tutorial, link that down below. Um, uh, anything that y'all want me to do, just request it. Like, hit me up in the comments down below. I will always comment back to y'all. Um, let me know what y'all want to see from me. Because, like, I have some good stuff up here. I just need to put it on here. Okay? So, whatever y'all want to see from me, let me know down in the comments below. Comments below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate every view that I got. Every single viewer on that uh, last hygiene routine that I posted i really appreciate that and i'll try to link it down below if anybody else wants to see but thank you guys for watching i love y'all peace